Shama and Kalud are baking cakes for my charity sale. What do you say? Maybe you boys could help too. Mm, we would love to, Mom, but uh... We are very uh busy with uh, uh things. Yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're very busy with uh, lots of things. Uh, are we? I was pretty happy watching TV. Yes. What kind of things, Salem? Uh, things. Yeah, like? Very important. Secret things. Very important secret things, you say? Hmm, really? Mansoor, you know very well you shouldn't have secrets kept from your mother. Well, maybe I can help. How about if the best cake wins a small cash prize, huh? Would that make these very important secret things you have to do seem less important? Oh, yeah! Hmm, okay then. I need three cakes to be baked. So you guys can split into teams. Kalud and Shama, could you make a honey uh -huh. and date cake? Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> turkey and salem. You can make a chocolate cake. <laughs> and Mansoor and Obeyed, you can make a Victoria sponge. Yeah! <laughs> Baking is very scientific. It's just a process where one transforms the properties of the ingredients by mixing, by the introduction of catalysts, and the application of heat. No! Baking is about making things with love taste super delicious and yummy. Yes, Obeyed, but it's the science that makes it taste delicious. No, no, Mansur. It's actually the icing that makes it taste delicious. Hmm, I think we have everything we need. We do. This cake shouldn't take too long to make, hopefully. We're going to win this easily. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, geez, mm. I don't know what half these things are. Salem, stop eating everything. Why? Because we need them. There's more than enough. <gasps> Fascinating. It says a sponge cake requires the perfect balance of structure building from the flour uh. and the eggs combined uh. with the structure weakening from the fat and sugar. There's gonna be a structure inside the cake? Walls in the cake? I don't think that would taste very good. Um, mm, try adding a little more, I think. Yes, I think you're right. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the chocolate? Uh, did we need it? Of course we need chocolate. It's for a chocolate cake. Don't tell me. Did you eat it? Just a little. Oh, great. Now I need to go to the store and buy more thanks to you. <laughs> Feeding the butter and the sugar together adds tiny bubbles to the mixture, which divide the mixture into sheets, which gives a cake that melts in the mouth texture. Don't stop then. I love that kind of texture. Mm -hmm. That's a winning cake if I ever saw one. I was never in doubt. Ah. Mm. Ah. Ow. Mm. Ow. Ow. The egg protein coats each of the gas bubbles, protecting it from collapsing when heated. Wow, so the eggs know to protect each other from all the gas bubbles? Are they some kind of special eggs? Or are they superhero eggs? Oh, and if they really are superheroes, mm, do they have little capes? Do they have superpowers? Do they fight crime? Ah! <laughs> 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 Ah! Hey, Salem, I'm back. I've got the chocolate and uh, where's our mixture? In the bowl? No, no, I mean the rest of it. Uh. 
Did you eat it? Uh, Salem! I was hungry, and I wanted to make sure the cake was yummy. <laughs> you shouldn't eat uncooked cake mix. You'll get sick, don't you know? It's bad for you. Uh, I do feel a bit queasy. Well, that's great. Then you can just get out of the way and leave me alone. It'll be easier to bake this cake without you eating everything. If it's any help, I can tell you it's yummy. But if it's anything like you, it's of no help at all. I'm sick of the stupid baking and being bossed around. I wish they would go away. Uh, hello? Mansoor? Obeyed? Turkey? Come out! This isn't funny! Where are you? Mansoor! Obeyed! Turkey? Where are they? Shama? Kalud? There's no one anywhere. They disappeared. Is anyone there? Uh, is anyone there? Anyone? Anyone? Where is everyone? Where's everyone? Are they gone? Well, at least it's nice and peaceful. No one to boss me around. Ah! 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 Solemn, you were in the living room, not the moon. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it felt like. I woke up and there was no one here, no one anywhere. Not in the streets or in the park. I was just sitting there and this massive scary cake monster showed up. It was trying to crush me. And then it sent massive cupcakes flying after me until I was trapped. You mean a monster cake like this one? <laughs> <laughs> So, which one of you won? Who gets the small cash prize? Turkey, what's going on? You look like some kind of cake monster. <laughs> Marcel!
Welcome to the annual science fair. Science is the study of the world around us, how it works and why it works the way it does. Science makes the impossible possible. Science puts men on the moon and computers in our pockets. And I'm very excited to see what all of our young scientists have in store for us today. This year, I'm pleased to announce that our winners will receive an exclusive VIP tour no. of the Science Museum, as well as a lump sum cash prize. Let the judging commence. Good luck to you all. Uh, <laughs> aha, a Van der Graaff generator. It's quite harmless. Carry on, Mafid. The Van der Graaff generator can build a huge static electricity charge of well over one million volts. That's right, but with a very low current. Watch. <laughs> Your utra is flapping up. Ah, excellent work, Mafid. <laughs> Hello, Tarek. So what have you got here? Well, sir, as you can see, it's a modeled volcano. And inside the crater is a beaker of baking soda. Go pour some vinegar inside of it. The vinegar is reacting with the baking soda. And then we dyed the baking soda with red food coloring to make it look as if it were real lava. Isn't science amazing, Teacher Ali? Excellent, very inventive. Thank you, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Aha, Mansoor. What have we got here? Thank you, sir. Meet Nadir. Say hello, Nadir. Greetings. Well, hello there. Nice to meet you, Nadir. Tell us more about Nadir, Mansoor. The robot can be remote controlled by an app I created on my smartphone. He's designed to do a wide variety of things, such as cleaning, lifting, moving things, or even hazardous tasks that might not be safe for humans. Amazing. Huh. Can you demonstrate? Uh, Nadir, fetch that ball. Hmm? Uh huh? Bats. Bats. Very nice. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. And he's strong. Watch this. <laughs> Nadir, bend the bar. Whoa. Bend. Incredible, amazing. We can use him on the school jujitsu team. Excellent work, boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Firstly, I'd like to thank everybody for participating in our science fair. There were a great many interesting projects that we saw. And this year's winners are... <gasps> Mansoor, Obeyed, and Salam for their robot. Yeah! <laughs> Watch this, you guys. Hmm? <laughs> you ready? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Just giving that metal man a bath. He stinks. <laughs> He's gone crazy! Oh. He's short-circuiting! Run! Oh. Evacuate! Evacuate! Let's get out of here! before he destroys the whole school. Mansoor, you can't stop that thing on your own. Right, Obeid will help you. I'm out of here. Stalin, we're a team. I guess we can all die together. Thanks, guys. Okay, let's go. Where did he go? I'm pretty sure he went this way. No way, we can't fight something that strong. 
Not fight him. We have to disable him. Pull out his batteries or something. Hmm. So you really want to get that close to a gigantic, crazy, psycho on the run robot? Okay. I've got it. Follow me. Oh. Come on. <laughs> okay. So the foam from Tarek's volcano caused the robot to short circuit, right? Uh. And so, if we can get him even wetter, the batteries will fail. Mom. Yeah. Ha! Let's roll out. I think we're safe. Why are we here trying to destroy a giant killer rampaging robot with mobs? That's not what I call safe. What we need is an ambush. Great idea, Salem. We'll draw him towards us for an all out surprise attack. Right, but we are still going to need some bait. Hmm. What do you think we can use as bait? <laughs> huh? Oh, no, not me. Come on. <laughs> I should have stayed quiet. <sighs> well, here goes nothing. Hey, rust bucket! <laughs> wait, wait, no, 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 I don't want to get bent. <laughs> Eat this! <laughs> Harmless to humans, but lethal for robots. Wow. I think we just destroyed the entire school. Hey, Tarek, we need more cement. <laughs> yeah, well, if you need it so bad, why don't you come and get it yourself then? Uh, maybe I'll send the robot to get it. No, 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 it's, it's okay. Oh, we got this. <laughs> Who knew that detention could be so much fun, you guys? <laughs> Marcel!
know you absolutely love pizza. Oh. And we know you like burgers. Mm. Mm? Huh? Yum! But what could possibly be better than pizza and burgers? Why, pizza burgers, of course. Mm. Two juicy burgers with cheese surrounded by double pepperoni pizza buns with extra cheese all topped with our special tiger cheese stripes. Mm. Just one bite, and you'll never want to eat anything else in your life again. Ever. Uh, I suddenly feel a little... Me too. Not sure how to explain it. What's the word? Starving. Uh, tiger burger? Thought you'd never ask. I'll race you there. Huh? Wait a minute. We just had lunch. Hmm, weird. Yeah, it's inexplicable. Come on, then. But guys! Hmm. We have an anomaly. Hmm? I don't think it's very healthy. We shouldn't be eating it. Huh? This place feels empty. Uh... Huh? Mm -hmm. uh... Something isn't right. Where is everyone? Mansoor! Everything will be fine when we get to Tiger Burger. Tiger Burger! Uh, hey guys! There must be a way across to get there. <laughs> Are those security guards actually running toward us? There he is! Hey guys! I really think they're coming for us! What if we uh, walk around? Mansoor! We need to get out of here! Now! <gasps> Mansoor! Huh. Oh, uh, don't worry. I'm actually a hypnotist. Leave them to me. These boys are not the ones for whom you are seeking. <laughs> These boys are not the ones for whom you are seeking. Are you sure? They look a lot like them. The tall one, the skinny one, the short one. Uh, um... These boys are not the ones for whom you've been seeking. Yeah, they're the ones. Look, I've got a photo on my phone. Here. Yep. That's them, all right. No, uh, mm -mm, mm, uh... Look into my eyes and listen. These boys are not the ones for whom you've been seeking. Huh? Why does it keep saying that? Huh? Um, excuse oh. me? But what are you trying to do? Uh, don't worry. Uh, <clears throat> listen here. Look into my eyes. You're a chicken. You're a baby. You're a puppy. Bark! Mark! Uh, let's get out of here! Uh, oh. Quick! This way! Okay, someone needs to start explaining what is happening. Fast! Uh, fast? <gasps> You were hypnotized by the Tiger Burger ad you watched. Tiger Burger is actually an evil fast food chain that gets people to buy their unhealthy products by hypnotizing them through using display ads in malls all around the world. I'm Ahmed, by the way, and as part of a secret group of health-conscious hypnotists who are sworn to fight the big chain and free people from the evil hypnotists all over the world, like Tiger Burger. So what you're saying is you're a hypnotist? 
Exactly. Uh, sorry, but I get the feeling that you're new to this whole hypnosis thing. I am. These glasses were sent by HQ last week to help me. They're part of a new trial technology to help fight the evil hypnotists, but they just don't seem to be working really well right now. Huh. Uh, I don't know what it is. It could be any number of things. The RAM, the operating system, a software bug, or the new update I just downloaded. Or it could be as something... When did you last charge them? Uh... Seriously? I knew it. The first chance I get to do some real damage to the Tiger Burger Empire, and I failed. And now I'll never be able to help all those poor people. Wait a minute. There's just enough battery in these for one last burst of usage. Uh, how much good is that gonna do with all those people out there? Look, in essence, these glasses here project images onto your retina, right? Uh, right. I know that look too well. He's going to do something. Oh, oh no! And so, your brain deciphers the images shown and understands the code embedded within the light signals, right? Uh, right. So we don't really need the glasses at all. Uh, no, no, you're right. All we really need... ...is a means to project those same images onto your retina. But, but how do we implement this plan? Plan? What plan? I didn't hear about any plan. Did you? Why are you talking about science? It always gets me a bit confused. Well, first we will need a distraction. See what I was talking about? I sure hope he knows what he's doing. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All I need to do is reprogram the format that it will play out, and it should be fun. If I could have your attention, please, gentlemen. I don't think oh! so. <laughs> <laughs> Look into my eyes, gentlemen. Look into my Thanks for all your help, boys. I couldn't have done it without you. What will you do now? There are still many malls out there and many more Tiger Burgers to defeat. I figure I'll just go from mall to mall, taking them on one at a time, helping out the good people and keeping them healthy. 
Until we meet again, take care of yourselves and each other. Ha ha! Goodbye! How's it going, boys? We're nearly there. Right now, we're passing a tiny little island near Bermuda. Uh, the Bermuda Triangle? Hope we don't disappear. Ah! Oh, what was that? Just a thunderstorm. But I'd better get back to the controls. Buckle up, boys, all right? <laughs> you watch too many movies, Obaid. It was only a storm. But, Dad, I can't get any service on my phone at all. Why don't you boys try up there? There may be a signal. Try that, and I'll look at the engine. But listen, don't go too far. Okay, Dad. See you later. Come on, guys. Yeah, <laughs> let's. <laughs> Come on. Mm. Guys, guys. Huh? Over here! Look there! Uh... They look like pirates! <laughs> no way! You guys, don't be silly! It's a movie shoot! Let's go check it out! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Our quest is almost at an end, my friend! <laughs> and cut! Huh? Uh, uh. Huh? Mm -hmm. Hold uh -huh. on, they're only boys. Who are you? Um, I'm Mansoor, and these are my friends, Obaid and Salem. Are you shooting a movie? Movie? What is this movie? You know, a movie like this. Mm hmm. Look there! I'm making some action. Oh. Mm -hmm. What is this? The boy has trapped little people inside of this little box thingy. What's with these guys? Hey, Jabal, secure the boat. My name is Sinbad. Sinbad? You mean just like Sinbad the sailor? Sailor, adventurer, hero at your service. Mm. Mm -hmm. What's going on? I'm so confused right now. That guy's crazy. Maybe not. Think about it. The storm, my phone acting all weird and stuff, and these guys over here don't even know what a movie is. You mean the Bermuda Triangle? I think you were actually right about everything, Obaid. That storm was a time portal. <clears throat> Forgive me, but time is not my friend. You see, we have sailed the seven seas far and wide to reach this far-off place. My princess fails even as we speak. Princess? Princess Alia. Alia of Baghdad. She has been poisoned by the evil Sultan Kader. And Kader wishes to claim her throne, and I must save her now. The only thing that can save the princess from her fate is the Star of Nashira, a tiny flower that grows only here on this island. A flower? 
That sounds easy enough. I wish that were true, my young fellow. But the flower grows at the top of a giant tree in the Valley of Scorpions. Scorpions? Well, at least it isn't snakes. Snakes, too. Many snakes to be, in fact. But now we must go. Uh, ready, Jabal? Wait up, Sinbad. Maybe we can help. <laughs> I believe these tunnels right here will lead us to the giant tree. Uh, I don't really like this. It looks dangerous. Oh, it is. So touch nothing. The men who built this place filled it with many traps to prevent anyone from entering. <laughs> Follow me. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Stop! Is something wrong? Yes, I think I see something. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> I knew it, just as I thought. The traps that were put in place are still working. What do we do now? We make shield. Huh? Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Salem, you look like a real warrior with that shield you made. Jabal, go and make some more for the rest of us. Oh, man! I didn't sign up for this! We'll be fine, Salem. Look, it's working! Wait up! Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Ah, 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 help me! Help me! Ubaid, whatever you do, do not look uh. down! Huh? Snakes! Oh, man! I hate snakes! <laughs> 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 Ubaid, let go of your granola bar! Never! Obeyed! The snakes! To have you back, Obaid. We're here. Behold, the Star of Nashira. Oh. Hold on. Do you really think this will hold no, us? No, don't do oh. it. Oh. So. All to, is lost. Oh, to have come so far and to then fail. The fate of my princess is sealed now. Hmm. Not so fast. I've got an idea. Huh? What is that thing? Meet my friend Nano. He's going to save the princess. Oh, wow. Huh. Greetings there, Mentor. Hey, Nano. Got a little job for you. That is absolutely incredible! That's Nano! <sighs> I owe you a great debt, Mansoor. And all of you, you will be heroes. And many stories will be told of you, I promise. Mansoor, look! The huh? storm! Oh. oh! The time portal! We have to leave now! 
Take this as a token of gratitude. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Master. Huh? Uh -huh. Dad. <laughs> Good luck, Sinbad! We're about 20 minutes away from New York. Funny thing is, we're somehow eight hours behind schedule now. It's probably something about the Bermuda Triangle. I think you're right, Obaid. I think you're right. Your homework for today is to film and report on interesting local events for the class vlog. And with that, you had better get to work. Okay, kids, see you tomorrow. <laughs> whoa, whoa! Uh, <laughs> we could do our report on Obeyed, <laughs> the most <laughs> clumsiest boy in all of the world. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. Huh? Ah! <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's go and find an interesting story. Okay, so we need to find some exciting things to report on. Oh, oh! I found a story! This looks like an ordinary street, but a terrible event is happening. A cat has gotten stuck up a tree. How will this cat get down? Who will rescue it? And how long will the poor critter be there? Will the authorities come and help the cat and return it to... Obeyed? The cat's gone. What? Aw, I thought it was stuck. Even if it was stuck, it wasn't very exciting. Don't worry. We'll find another one. We just need to keep looking. Guys, get ready. I found our story. Ready! This car has broken down. Let's find what the problem is. Excuse me, sir, but what's wrong with your car? Huh? Nothing's wrong. I was just checking the oil. Cut. Ugh. Uh, yet another failure. Sheesh, who would have thought that finding an interesting story to report would be so difficult to do? We've got to keep looking. <gasps> huh? Ooh. I think I found our story. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! I am reporting to you from the park where a very rare bird has just been seen. I'm not sure exactly what kind of bird of prey it is. It looks like an eagle, but I've never seen one that big. This is amazing! This eagle is getting lower. It must be hunting its prey. <sighs> Obeyed, why aren't you feeling? Look. Huh? <laughs> 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 
your big bird of prey was just your little sister's kite. I never thought finding a story would be so hard. We gotta think of something. Hmm. We could fake a bit of news. What do you mean? I mean... We could make up a story and pretend that it really happened. Like what? Um... We could report that there's a herd of giant dinosaurs wildly rampaging all throughout the park. How will we do that? Mm, We're uh, not gonna fake uh, any news. We just gotta find a really, really good story. Sure, but where will we find one? I don't know. I mean, it's not as if it's just going to fall out of the sky or anything, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I guess great stories do just fall out of the sky. Come on, let's follow it. This is cool. We're going to have the best footage of the class. <laughs> <laughs> Have you come for a ride? Yes. We want to film the plane from a completely new angle. Well, you've come to the right place. Jump in. <laughs> We're in a helicopter! Woohoo! Oh! Yes, of course. That one ignites the boosters. That one starts the auto landing feature. And this one makes the helicopter invisible on the radar. What does that big red one do? Well, that's the ejector seat. So whatever you do, do not press it. So cool! An ejector seat! <laughs> uh oh! <laughs> uh. Obeyed! Seriously! Right. 
Now let's find Obaid. There he is, up there. Obaid? <laughs> How was the ride? <laughs> Is that still filming? Yeah. We're gonna have the best vlog ever! Hmm. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll agree that Mansoor, Salem, and Obeyed made a very exciting report for their assignment. And so, they all get an A+. Plus. Yeah! <laughs> but please, boys, don't do anything so risky and dangerous again. But let's watch it one more time, children. This week's experiment is all about energy efficiency. Your task is to suspend a member of your team in midair. That's easy. But without using an engine or a motor. Hmm, not so easy. Get into teams, and then you can start your experiments outside. Please help yourselves to anything that you think may help you obtain your scientific goal. We could take the string and wrap it around two chairs, and then maybe have two of us sit on the chairs, and one of us lies on the string. I think that might work out, you guys. <laughs> well, that's huh? a good idea. Thanks for that. <laughs> hmm. Huh? That's not fair. Don't worry, Obeyed. None of this stuff is very useful. I've got some better things at home. What about these? Huh? Hmm. 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 Yeah, they could support someone, I suppose. We might as well try. Okay, Obeyed, get on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be suspending him, not sinking him. Oh, help huh? me! I can't get up! <laughs> you may continue working on it at home, but you must show your findings to the class tomorrow. Come on, let's go back to my house. I've got my tools there, and we can get this work done properly. I'm sure of it. I'm going to pick Sarah up from a party. See you boys later. So how are we going to solve this science experiment thing? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Water! No thanks, I've got some juice. No, we could use water pressure to suspend you. How's that gonna support him? I've got a plan. Okay, this highly pressurized water squirter should do the trick. It's full of water and ready to go. Oh, uh, 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 it needs more pressure. Uh, uh, Hold on, Obey. Uh, oh, it's working. Works. We have to find.
find another way. Cause there's no way that I'm going through all that again. That's okay, Obate. We'll think of something. <gasps> We're Bye -bye. back. Hmm. That's it! Whoa! Uh! I don't really think one balloon is going to hold me up. You're right. One won't do it, but lots of them will definitely do the job. <laughs> don't worry, Obeyed. What could possibly go wrong? Calculating all the data, we know we need exactly 48 balloons to suspend Obeyed in midair. Hmm. How many balloons have you blown up, Obeyed? Nearly 200. What? Oh. Wait up! We only need 48 of them! Stay in the garage! What? What are we going to do? We need to burst three quarters of those balloons. But how? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Hmm. <gasps> Nano can fly up and burst them. Nano? But how? There's nothing sharp on him. Quickly, find something sharp. Ow. Oh! I think that'll do it. Float away. 
any less than that, and you won't float at all. See? Yeah, yeah, ha, yeah. But honestly, I've had enough science and excitement for one day. Don't need any more. Oof. Let's see if any of you have solved this scientific riddle. We'll start with T-Rex team. Lo and behold, watch the string support my wings. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, Tarek. Mansoor, has your team been successful? Ha! <laughs> This'll never work. What a joke. Through careful scientific research, we calculated exactly how many balloons were needed to suspend obeyed. Oh. And we also discovered that if you quadruple the number of balloons attached, it's possible to float really high, even higher than planes. <laughs> A funny joke, obeyed. No, I'm not joking, sir. Huh? He's joking, right? No, he's not. Uh, Congratulations to Mansour's team for successfully solving the challenge. 